All right, students, welcome to today's lecture. Now let's consider a topic. This is the, the UTME use of English. All right, so we'll be looking at the topic syllable and stress. Okay, so here we're looking at rules, rules to stress placement. Rules to stress placement. Now, what this simply means is, how would you be able to identify where the stress would be in polysyllabic words? And what are polysyllabic words? This is a word that contains more than two syllables. Okay? So, on this note, I stopped at rule three, so I'll continue with rule four. Now, for rule four, the rule states that if a word, if a word ends with the suffix, if a word ends with the suffix, The suffix is A-R-Y, then the main or primary stress, the main or primary stress falls on, on anti-penultimate syllable, on anti-penultimate syllable. Okay, now, <clears throat> class, here is the rule, and the essence of this rule is to indicate that most English words that ends with the suffix ary, right, takes, take their stress on the antepenultimate syllable. Now, I'm going to look at an example of those words. For instance, if we have a word like um, missionary, two, you have dictionary, three, you have um, judiciary, four, you have words like Okay, beneficiary. Okay, so let's have um, four words, most importantly. And like I, I told you yesterday, that when you have a word, the first thing for you to do is to make a syllabic division of that word, after which you apply the rule to it. And what does the rule indicate? That... Once the word ends with A-R-Y, you have to place a stress on the antepenultimate syllable. That's the third to the last syllable. Now, syllabic division for the word missionary is M-I-S-S-I-O-A, then R-Y. You can see that. So that's missionary. Now, in dictionary, you have... D-I-C-T-I-O-N-A and R-Y, dictionary. Then judiciary, you have J-U-D-I-C-I-A-R-Y. Then you have beneficiary, B-E-N-E-F-I-C-I-A-R-Y. Okay. Now, look at these four words. I've actually indicated their syllabic division to each of the words. Now, the next thing for you to do is, I need you to place a stress based on the rule. So, if a word ends with the suffix A-R-Y, just as you can see from the board, then the main or primary stress falls on 
on antepenultimate syllable that's thought to the last syllable. Now take an instance. This is the last syllable, which is the ultimate. Okay, this is the penultimate syllable, and this doesn't take a stress. Is a zero stress? Yes. The schwa sound doesn't take any stress, and the T I O N or S I O N suffix don't take stress. So we don't place stress on such syllable. It means that would have to consider the last syllable, second to the last, and third to the last syllable. Therefore, the primary stress will be placed on MI. Is that understood? Now, let's proceed to number two. You have dictionary, and here is the syllabic division. Now, this is the last syllable, and this is second to the last syllable. Now, like I told you earlier, the T-I-O-N do not take stress, okay? So it means that the stress placements will be on DIC. So dictionary. You have the next word, judiciary. So take an instance. You have the last syllable, okay? Second to the last syllable, and this is thought to the last syllable of the word, okay? Now, beneficiary. In beneficiary, you have the last syllable. Then you have second to the last syllable and third to the last syllable. Beneficiary. Okay? Now, take a look at this. This is the four words with their different syllabic divisions and their stress placements. So you can see that in missionary, SSION, you have two letters, S and S, being put together for the fact that they produce or project the same sound. Now, S, S, I, O, N, they do not take any stress. S, S, I, O, N, the schwa sound, or T, I, O, N, they do not take any stress. Why? Because they are regarded as the zero stress. They don't bear any stress at all. Now, you have a dictionary. Here is a syllabic division. And you have, this is the last syllable, second to the last syllable. Because T-I-O-N do not take any form of stress, okay? So the main or primary stress is on D-I-C. Now, you have judiciary, last syllable, second to the last, and third to the last syllable. Then beneficiary, last syllable, second to the last, and third to the last syllable, according to the rule. According to the rule. I hope this is understood, class. Now, let's proceed to rule five. Let's proceed to rule five. Let's proceed to rule five. Now, if a word ends with, with a suffix, and what suffix is that? Let's see, I-V-E, that's a suffix. If a word ends with a suffix, I V E, then the main or primary stress, the main or primary stress falls on on the antepenultimate, on the antepenultimate. Antipenultimate syllable. And remember, that equally means that's a third to the last syllable. So now, <clears throat> most English words, 90% of English words, all right, that end with the suffix IVE would always take their stress, there's the main stress or primary stress on the antipenultimate syllable. Okay? Now, let's look at an example of most of them. Let's see. I'm going to illustrate that here because I don't want to write down. So, the first word is informative. Two, you can also have transformative. Three, you could have um, communicative. 
can also have communicative for you could have supportive you could have supportive now take a look at these four words you have the first one informative the second one transformative the third word you have communicative and the fourth word you have supportive all right so here are four words and the first thing for you to do is to engage in syllabic division of the word now here let's start with the first aspect so you have informative that's i n hyphen f o r hyphen m a then you have t i v e this is a syllabic division of the word informative i hope that's understood now what you do is you have one two three four that's four syllables now in four syllables this is four syllables four seals okay four syllables you have ultimate as the last syllable then you have penultimate and this is the anti-penultimate syllable as the for i hope that's understood so the main or primary stress falls on for the reason is we started counting from the end this is the end that's the ultimate this is second to the end that's penultimate and this is third to the end, that's anti-penultimate syllable. So you place the stress mark on FOR to indicate the stress. So if you're to pronounce, for instance, you say informative, informative, informative. All right? To show that this particular syllable bears the main stress. Now, let's take the next word, transformative. You have T-R-A-N-S, trans. F O R M A, then T I V E. This is transformative. This is a syllabic division for transformative. So, what you do here is you have one, two, three, four. That's four syllables. Now, you have the ultimate, the penultimate, and the anti penultimate syllable. So, for transformative, the stress falls on the third to the last syllable. This is, fourth, uh, this is the last syllable, this is the second to the last syllable, and this is third to the last syllable. Now, let's see, communicative, that's C-O hyphen M-M-U hyphen N-I hyphen C-A, then hyphen T-I-V-E. Communicative. Now, this is the last syllable, and this is second to the last syllable. Here is the third to the last syllable. You place the superscript vertical mark before it. That's to indicate stress. Is that taken? Now we have supportive. Now in supportive, you have SU hyphen PP OR supportive, then TIVE. That's three syllables supportive, supportive. Now, the reason we have to pair this double letter P is to indicate the fact that. Both letters produce or project the same sound. Because they project the same sound as have, we have to break them together. So you have supportive, supportive. So here you have ultimate and you have penultimate. Do you see that? So you have anti-penultimate syllable to that fact. So look at what I've written on the board so far. This is to guide you, okay, on how to identify stress placements. I've looked at just two important rules, rule four and rule five. Are we good? Now let's take rule six and more of that. All right, so we have rule six. Okay, rule six. For rule six, we have if a word ends with the suffix. If a word ends with the suffix, what's the suffix? Um, P-H-Y. The suffix is P-H-Y. Then the main or primary stress the main or primary stress falls on 
antipenultimate antipenultimate syllable. Okay, so now class here is the rule. Now if you don't end with the suffix, and what's the suffix? PHY is the suffix, then the main or primary stress falls on antipenultimate syllable, that's a third to the last syllable. And let's have an example to justify this rule. For instance, you have a word um, like geography, you have philosophy, you have a word like photography, have a word like topography. All right, so we have four words that ends with a suffix PHY. Now, what is the first thing for you to do? You need to make a syllabic division for each of these words, after which you replicate the rule, you apply the rule to each of them. Now, let's see. The first word is geography. So you have GE hyphen O hyphen GRA and hyphen PHY. I hope you got that in your syllabic division too. Now, let's see the next syllabic division. PHI hyphen SO hyphen SO hyphen PHY. The third word is PHO hyphen TO hyphen GRA then hyphen PHY. Okay? Now the next syllabic division is topography, T-O hyphen P-O hyphen G-R-A hyphen P-H-Y. Okay, so we have a syllabic division for these words. So what you're supposed to do is, I need you to identify the stress based on this rule. So you have one, two, three, four, four syllables, geography, geography. Now, this is the last syllable. This is second to the last syllable. And here is the third to the last syllable. Okay? Geography. 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 Is that understood? And let's proceed to the next word. You have philosophy. Now, the word ends with a suffix PHY. What are you supposed to do? Place the stress accordingly. Now, this is the last syllable, PHY. This is the second to the last syllable, which is called the penultimate syllable. And here is the third to the last syllable, which is called the antipenultimate syllable. Now you place the stress mark before it. Did you get that? Now, let's proceed to the next word. You have photography. 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 Now you have the last syllable. That's the ultimate. Then you have second to the last syllable. That's the penultimate syllable. And here is the third to the last syllable. So you place the stress before it. Okay? Is that taken? Now let's look at the last word. You have topography. 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 Now in topography, you're stressing this particular syllable. Now let's take that. You have the last syllable, that's PHY, and you have the second to the last syllable, and here is the third to the last syllable, PO. Is that taken? Now this is justified. So look at it very, very well. Before we take the next rule, that's rule seven for stress placement. Rule seven for stress placement. So look at it. So use this to, to access um, the learning. Rule seven. Rule seven. Rule seven. If a word ends with the suffix, what the suffix? The suffix is CY. So if a word ends with the suffix CY, then the main, the main or primary stress, the main or primary stress falls on antipenultimate 
antipenultimate, antipenultimate syllable. Okay, so if a word, that is, if any English word ends with the suffix cy or sy, okay, you can add it cy or sy. So the rule indicates suffix cy slash suffix xy. If a word ends with the suffix cy, then the main or primary stress falls on the antipenultimate syllable. Now, it can be CY or XY. Is that taken? I'd like to give an example to this effect. The first word is democracy. All right? Democracy. The second word, we can have controversy. That's SY. The third word, you can have competency. Then first word, you can have proficiency. We can even add the fifth one, efficiency. Efficiency. All right, so here are the five words. The first word is democracy. The second word is controversy. The third word is competency. The first word is proficiency. And the fifth word is efficiency. Now, I'm going to give you a few minutes. What I need you to do is make a syllabic division for each of those words and replicate the rule. And what rule is that? But if your word ends with CY or SY, what are you to do? Yes, the main or primary stress should be on the third to the last syllable when you begin counting from the end. Let me give you a few minutes to do that. Okay, so please send in your answer in the chat box. All right, class, now let's look at a correction to this particular exercise. Now, the first word is democracy. All right, democracy. Now, look at democracy. You have controversy and you have competency. You have proficiency and you have efficiency now there are five words and we have to make a syllabic division for each of them and to place the appropriate stress on the stress syllable now let's take the first word you have democracy here you have d a hyphen m o hyphen c r a hyphen then c y now this is the appropriate syllabic division so how many syllables do you have you have one, two, three, four. That's four syllables. This is regarded as a polysyllabic word or a multisyllabic word. Now, what are the rules state? Now, when the word ends with CY, okay, or SY, you should place the stress on the antipenultimate syllable. And what is that? That's the third to the last syllable when you start counting from the end. Okay? Now, here you have... The ultimate, that's the last syllable. And this is the penultimate, that's the second to the last syllable. And this is the antipenultimate syllable. You can see that I'm placing the stress on MO to indicate the stress syllable. Now, if you produce or pronounce this word, you would realize that the stress falls on the MO. What I mean by that is the particular syllable that will give you forcefulness in pronunciation is the MO. All right? Now let's look at the next word, controversy. Now in controversy, what you have is C O N hyphen T R O hyphen V E R hyphen S Y. Okay? Is that okay? That's the syllabic division controversy. Controversy. Now, look at this. You have one, two, three, four. You have four syllables. And what is that regarded as? It's known as the polysyllabic word. The polysyllabic word. Now, a polysyllabic word is a word that contains more than two syllables. So, this is the last syllable, which is the ultimate. This is the second to the last syllable, which is the penultimate. And this is the third to the last syllable, which is called the antipenultimate syllable. So, you have controversy. Controversy. I don't think the next word. 
competency competency you have c o m hyphen p a hyphen t n hyphen c y okay so you have competency now in the word competency you have one two three four that's four syllables now this is the ultimate this is the penultimate and this is the anti-penultimate syllable in the word competency is that taken now let's look at the first word here you have proficiency that's p r o hyphen f i hyphen c i e n hyphen then c y okay so that's the syllabic division now how do you place the stress you must do that according to the rule what does the rule state you have the last syllable and you have second to the last syllable and third to the last syllable in proficiency in proficiency is that taken now let's proceed to the last word you have efficiency then e i fin f f i i fin c i e n i fin then c y okay so efficiency that is good now look at the syllabic division you have the last syllable and you have second to the last syllable and you have third to the last syllable efficiency now i'll need you to compare this particular correction to what you've done and see if there is a correspondence now if you have any particular one wrong i would like you to check and adjust it from this right source is that taking now take a look at it now all right so let's consider rule eight now rule eight indicates that if a word ends with the suffix with the suffix if a word ends with a suffix and the suffix is ic the suffix is ic okay so if a word ends with the suffix ic then the main or primary stress the main or primary stress falls on penultimate syllable penultimate syllable and what's that that's second to the last syllable is that taken now if a word most english words all right that end with the suffix ic would always have their stress that's the primary or main stress on the penultimate syllable that's the second to the last syllable and let me give an example of such so you could use that as an example to learn the first word is democratic okay democratic two you could also have a word like organic three i have a word like mm, let me give you more english words that end with i c e and they are polysyllabic words um mechanic then four mechanic then four Okay, let's work with three. Now, in democratic, the syllabic division is D E I F I N M O I F I N C R A I F I N then T I C E. 
democratic as a syllabic division of the word. So you have one, two, three, four, four syllables. And remember that the rule indicates that if a word ends with a suffix, just like democratic, if it ends with a suffix IC, then the main or primary stress falls on penultimate syllable. So it means that for you to indicate the stress, it has to be on second to the last syllable. So for instance, here is the last syllable, and this is second to the last syllable. So you have the stress placed on second to the last syllable. Democratic. Democratic. Is that understood? Now let's look at the next word. You have organic. O-R-G-A-N-I-C. Organic. Now in organic, what do you have? You have syllabic division of O-R hyphen G-A hyphen N-I-C. Organic. Okay. So this is the last syllable. This is the second to the last syllable where you have the stress being placed in organic. Okay. So you have mechanic. In mechanic, you have syllabic division M-E-C-H-A-N-I-C. So as mechanic, here you have the last syllable, N-I-C, and here is the second to the last syllable. So you have the stress placement on the C-H-A. So that's rule number eight. Now let's look at rule number nine. Let's look at rule number nine. Let's look at rule number nine. Now, if a word ends with the suffix if a word ends with a suffix, and the suffix is I-U-M. If a word ends with a suffix, the suffix is I-U-M. Now, it means that then the main or primary stress, the main or primary stress falls on Penultimate syllable. Penultimate syllable. If a word ends with a suffix and the suffix is IUM, now it means that the main or primary stress falls on penultimate syllable. For instance, you have um, pandy, you have pandemonium. For instance, pandemonium to compendium, compendium, we equally have um, three. Let me think of another English word to make it up as number three. Mm, compendium. Pandemonium. Okay, so let's work with this three. Now let's work with this two. Now you have pandemonium and you have compendium. Now the syllabic division for the first word is P A N D E M O N I U M. Okay? As pandemonium. Now, for the second word you have is C O M P E N, then D I U M. Compendium. You can see the syllabic division for each of this word. Now, the rule indicates that if a word ends with the suffix, and what's the suffix? The I-U-M. Then the main or primary stress would fall on, 
will fall on the penultimate syllable. Now, this is the last syllable, which is the ultimate, and this is the penultimate syllable, which is the second to the last syllable. Now, this is the last syllable, which is neum, and this is the second to the last syllable, which is compendium. Okay? Now, let's proceed to rule number 10. Rule number 10 for stress placement. Rule number 10 for stress placement. Okay, so rule, rule number 10 for stress placement. Rule 10. Now, if a word ends with the suffix I-A-N, if a word ends with the suffix I-A-N, then the main or primary stress falls, the main or primary stress falls on the penultimate syllable, on the penultimate syllable. Did you get that? Now, if a word ends with the suffix, or what's the suffix? I-N, then the main or primary stress falls on the penultimate syllable. What that simply means is that now 90% of English words that ends with IAN would always take their stress on, would always take, that ends with IAN would always take their stress on the penultimate syllable, which is the second to the last syllable. Now let's take an example to justify this. Now, in example, you have that's AG, you have totalitarian. That's the word, that's word number one. Word number two, you have authoritarian. Word number three, word number three, totalitarian, authoritarian. Word number three, you can have Let's think of from other words. Mm, totalitarian, authoritarian. Okay, so class, let me have you engage in a syllabic division for these two words. And have one engage in a syllabic division. Place the stress according to the rule. Place the stress in the appropriate syllable according to the rule. Let me allow you to do that. Okay? So, I have totalitarian. I have authoritarian. Let me allow you to do that. All right, class. Now, let's look at the correction to this particular exercise. Now, the first word is totalitarian. Okay? And this word ends with the suffix I-A-N. Okay? Now, the next one is authoritarian. And this word ends with I-A-N. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're meant to divide this particular word, totalitarian, into different segments. That's into different syllables. Then you also divide authoritarian into different segments or into different syllables. Now, let's do that together. So, I need you to watch. So, we have totalitarian as T-O hyphen, T-A hyphen, L-I hyphen, T A hyphen R I A N. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five. This is right now. So this is one, two, three, four, five. This is five syllables. And the five syllables represent a polysyllabic word. Did you get that? So this is a polysyllabic word. And the rule states that, that if a word ends with the suffix I A N, then definitely. The main or primary stress will fall on the penultimate syllable. So 90% of English word that ends with 
the suffix IAN would always take stress on the second to the last syllable, which is the penultimate syllable. Now, let's take a look at this. Now, in totalitarian, you have this as the last syllable, and you have this as the second to the last syllable. Therefore, you place the superscript vertical mark that before the stress syllable. The TA is the stress syllable according to the rule. Now, RIAN is the last syllable, which is the ultimate. Then TA is the penultimate, which is the second to the last syllable. So you place a stress on it. Then the next one is authoritarian. The syllabic division for authoritarian is AU hyphen THO hyphen RI hyphen TA hyphen then RIAN. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five syllables, and that's a polysyllabic word. What are you supposed to do? Apply the rule to that. What rule? That if a word ends with IAN, you place the stress on the second to the last syllable. Now, this is the last syllable, RIAN, and the second to the last syllable is TA. Okay? Now, so you have authoritarian. Then the first word you have totalitarian. Is that taken now? I hope this corresponds with the um, exercise you've performed just now. Now let's take the 11th rule to this. Let's take the 11th rule. Let's take the 11th rule together. All right, so let's take rule 11. So for rule 11, if a word ends with the suffix, I was the suffix, the suffix is M-E-N-T, then the primary stress the primary stress is on the syllable is on the stress syllable before the addition of is on the stress syllable is on the stress syllable before the addition for the addition of M-E-N-T. Now, let me explain this to you. What I mean by this is, if you have a word that ends with M-E-N-T, okay, you need to try as much as possible to determine the shorter version of the word. For instance, if you have establishment, before the addition of M-E-N-T, you know, have established. Okay, so in established, the stress is placed on STA. So, if you now add M-E-N-T to the word establish, you would have establishment. Now, where the stress falls before the addition of the M-E-N-T will still be the same syllable that will attract stress even when M-E-N-T is added to the word. I hope you understand this. Take an instance. So, e.g., you have the word establish. Okay? Remember, I didn't add M E N T to it yet. So, I have establish. So, it means that the syllabic division is E hyphen S T A hyphen B L I S H. This is established. Now, remember that the stress is placed on S T A. Then, if I add M-E-N-T to it, so it becomes establishment. The stress will still be placed on S-T-A even with the addition of M-E-N-T to it. That's the logic. Look at in govern. That's G-O-V-R-N in govern. The syllabic division here is G-O, then V-R-N. 
you can see that in govern the stress is placed on the first syllable now if i add ment to it the stress will still be placed on the first syllable that is the rule so where the stress falls when the word was shorter that's in govern or in establish that is still the same syllable in which the stress will fall in a longer version of it like government or establishment is that up taking now let's take rule number 12 rule number 12 now in rule number 12 you have if a word ends with with the suffix and here the suffix is ity if a word ends with the suffix ity then the main or primary stress the main or primary stress falls on antipenultimate falls on antipenultimate syllable and what's the meaning of that as a third to the last syllable so majority of english words 90 percent of english words that end with the suffix i to y will take their stress on the third to the last syllable that's the antipenultimate syllable let me give you an example to this effect so here you have words like confidentiality confidentiality okay so that's number one number two You can also have a word like now in confidentiality, the syllabic division is C O N F I D E N T I A L I T Y. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have six syllables, which is a polysyllabic word. Now, this is the last syllable, T-Y. This is L-I, which is the second to the last syllable. Then T-I-A is tall to the last syllable. Okay? Where you should have the stress being placed. Now, I hope that is clear to you. So in confidentiality, this is a syllabic division, C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-T-I-A-L-I, -E then T-Y. Now, T-Y is the last syllable. L-I is the penultimate. Then T-I-A is the antipenultimate syllable. Now, let's take rule 13. Rule number 13. Rule number 13. And rule number 13 indicates that if a word ends with a suffix, if, if a word ends with the suffix, with the suffix, I was the suffix there, with the suffix ENT. ENT or ANT. So if a word ends with the suffix ENT or ANT, then the main stress falls on the penultimate 
the penultimate syllable. Can you see that? So, if the word ends with the suffix ant or ant, then the main stress falls on the penultimate syllable. Let me give an example to this. So, e.g., you have um, confident, okay, then two. Confidence, then two. We can also have a word like you can have adamant. Okay, so these are two English words. Now, for the first word, you have confidence. Syllabic division is C O N hyphen F I hyphen then D-E-N-T. Now the word ends with E-N-T and stress should be placed on the penultimate syllable. That's the second to the last syllable. Now, D-E-N-T is the last syllable and second to the last syllable is F-I. Therefore, you place the superscript vertical mark before F-I. That's the stress mark to that word. Now look at the next word. You have adamant. Now in syllabic division, you have A hyphen D-A hyphen M A N T. Now, in this case, the word ends with A N T. Is that taken? So here you have this is the last syllable M A N T, and second to the last syllable is D A. Okay. I hope this is understood. Now we've taken thirteen rules so far on the rules to stress placement. You've had thirteen of it in the rules to stress placement. Now what I need you to do is I'd like you to go through this particular material and the lecture intensely if you have any particular question send it to the group so i'll give you a response to that thank you so much for your time and your participation for this class so i'll see you in the next class these are rules that i would like you to memorize and supply a list of english words in order to apply those rules to it so do have a nice day and ensure to read your books. Bye-bye for now.